Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I want to show you how to set up your microphone in Discord. Yep, Discord. A lot of people use it these days. I've been using it for quite a while. Really enjoy using it. It's a great place to for, uh, come chat and hang out. And if you want to come check out our server, hop on over. We're there. Uh, me and quite a few other friends. If you have any issues or just want to just talk, now it's a good place to do just that. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to show you how to set up your microphone in Discord today. So first thing we need to do is actually go down in Discord and choose how to set it up. Now to do this, we want to go down to the little gear icon down here at the bottom. It says user settings. Now I have a lot of things blurred out on my screen for privacy issues. You got a lot of friends and stuff and y'all don't want the information leaked or like my account information. So I've got most of all this blurred out. Now to choose a uh, to fix set up our microphone stuff we need to go down to app settings be app settings see voice and video and let's choose that okay wonderful now up here at the top we have a few things as voice settings right now i left them both on default for this tutorial however we want to go down here and i have quite a few options in mind but you want to choose the microphone that you're using now i am actually going to go down here and choose uh my Motu M2, if I can find it in the list here. Here we go. Microphone Motu M series. And that is the audio interface that I have my NT1 that I'm speaking into right now run into. Now, if you're using a headset or something other that's got a microphone running it, you may want to go choose something else. For example, if I can find it, like my real tech audio. Or if you're using like an NVIDIA broadcast, you may want to choose those. So do I have the real tech one here? I think I got it disabled. So anyway, microphone, just choose whatever input you got for your microphone. Like I said, mine's the Moto M series. If you're using a USB microphone, like a Blue Yeti, it'll be listed as the Blue Yeti microphone, whatever, listed here. Just choose it. So let me go ahead and just choose microphone, Moto M series. Now we want to choose our output device. Output device to be whatever uh, device you want to be able to monitor uh, people speaking. So when you're talking to your friends and stuff in Discord or whatever, or, you know, about rating and walk out rating a while. Then you want to choose whatever uh, sound device your headset's going to. Now, mine actually goes to my Moto M series, you know, audio interface. However, if you have yours, for example, uh, run into uh, to the back of the sound card, maybe you got you want to use the Realtek audio sound card, which I have on my motherboard. Then you can choose that one here. Mine's listed as speakers, Realtek audio. However, if you're using like a Sound Blaster uh, sound card. You can choose it from the list as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose Moto M series, but just find out what, uh, choose whatever device your headset has been plugged into or your headphones. Now, right up under that, we have mic test. Let's test and see if our microphone works. Hello, hello, hello. As we can see, it is picking up and I can hear it on my headset laying over here on my desk. So good. That's working. Let's stop checking. Okay. Now we input modes. Now input modes are something a lot of people struggle with. Uh, you get your voice activity, which is what I use because I don't like hitting a key on my keyboard to talk to somebody. But if you're the kind of person who only wants to speak just for only when you really need to, then you can choose the push to talk. And when you do that, you can set up a shortcut, a key bind. Maybe it's the tilde key on your keyboard or like a F1 or F2 or something other. You can set up any key you want to to be able to uh, push to talk. And then push to talk is basically like an old CB or walkie talkie. You press the key in, you speak. When you get done speaking, you let off the key, and then uh, it won't transfer uh, any more sound you know, through the uh, network. So, yeah, push to talk can be good for somebody who doesn't want, just doesn't like to talk a lot. And But me, I use voice activity because I like to you know, talk and complain a lot when we mess up in raids. So anyway, yeah, voice activity, uh, that's what I use. Now, if you have trouble setting this up, you can choose automatic determine input sensitivity. It'll kind of fluctuate, but if you're picking up too much background, I highly recommend you set this up yourself manually like I have. Like I said, most people, automatic determine input sensitivity is probably fine. If I click on that, you see the bar all goes totally green. It means you don't have to worry with it. And that may be what you want to do. Me... I like to have mine set up. All right, now pay attention right here. You see me speaking and you see the little uh, bar here keeps popping over here and come a little bit darker green to the green area. And when I stop speaking, you got a lot more of the yellow. Okay, pay attention to the dark yellow. 
That dark yellow is the uh, noise in the background. And the dark green is where uh, the voice levels are while I'm speaking. So where I have the slider right here is really good setting. I have my negative 55 dB here for decibels. And that allows me to be able to you know talk uh, and people hear me. But when I'm just uh, not talking and just banging on the keyboard and got all the other audio going on in the background, it never peaks above that. So it stays in below that slider on this side. So you can adjust this down, say, you know, negative 60 if you want to, or you want to go up higher. The problem is, for example, if you go too high, like I'm speaking right now, you can see it just barely peaks above that negative 40 dB. And it's going to cut in and out a lot. People are going to uh, be hollering, hey, Joe, we can't hear you cutting it out, man. Then that's probably the issue. Now, if we drop it too low, say like negative 90 here, just for an example, then everybody's going to be complaining. They can hear me banging on my keyboard and it's going to become annoying for them. So like I said, if you have trouble setting this up, maybe automatic uh, is better for you. But for me, I've, I've from experience and using it, negative 55 dB is a real good spot for me to be able to talk to people hear me without cutting it out. But yet I can bang on my keyboard and uh, all day long and they don't, my guildmates and stuff don't hear it. So negative 55 dB is good for me. Just find what works for you. Now, when you adjust the gain on your microphone or audio interface, that will affect this right here. Uh, so if you turn up the gain too high on it, then people are going to hear more of the background. You may have to bring this up. But where mine is set, negative 55 dB is good spot. Okay. That said, I just want to reiterate one more time. If you're having trouble setting this up, just put in the automatic and you'll probably be fine. Now, let's go down here to the noise stuff. And... You notice I have the noise suppression stuff cut off, and that's because I normally use the NVIDIA broadcast for mine. However, for this tutorial, I am going to show you how to set this one up now. Let's go down here to the older voice processing settings. Now, we got crisp up here, and I'll come back to crisp in just a moment. Crisp is really good, but we'll get to it in a second. You have a few options here. Echo cancellation. Now, if you turn this on, it's going to work basically as a deverb, uh, deverberate, you know, plug in. Basically, if you have a lot of echo in your room, maybe you're, in a, you're decided to play WoW in a cave. I mean, using Discord, people hear you in the middle of a cave, or you're just, you know, a big room that's got a lot of echo. Echo cancellation will help get rid of that. Now, the problem is with echo cancellation, if you turn it on and also turn on noise reduction, then a lot of times you get a lot of cutouts. Maybe it's a bug in Discord at the moment. I'm not really sure. But I recommend just to leave echo cancellation turned off at least until they get it fixed or worked out better now with noise reduction right here uh that's the older noise reduction works quite well however we're going to uh, go cut on crisp and crisp is the one i recommend so go up here and cut on crisp you know it's going to gray this one out because you can't use both at the same time now crisp is really really good and matter of fact if you want to learn more about crisp uh it uses ai learning also click the little learn more right here and you can get crisp uh, and download a computer and uh, use it. The only problem is uh, the crisp is if you want to use it more than 120 minutes a week, or whatever, then you may have to pay for it. So anyway, it's a real good one, but it's not like NVIDIA broadcast that uses a video card as you know, the processor. Uh, it yet you use your CPU. So, but there, it uses a lot of platforms. It's really good. Yeah. I like how it sounds. It's real good and clean, but Make sure if you use it or the other noise reduction, the echo cancellation is turned off. Okay. Now, automatic gain control. I recommend to keep that one turned off as well because if you put on automatic gain control, when you, if you adjust your uh, gain on your microphone or audio interface, then this is going to try to raise it and lower it, and you may end up fighting with it, and it ends up being inconsistent. So I recommend leave automatic gain control off okay so really that's it for the audio settings and stuff uh like i said just leave no echo cancellation off and run crisp crisp is really great if you don't want to run crisp though uh the older noise re uh, reduction isn't too bad it's actually pretty decent and uh just turn it on if you want to like i said you can't have it on with crisp on you can only have noise reduction on or off with crisp is turned off so i turn on crisp again up here at the top you notice the noise reduction at the bottom goes off so 
Anyway, that's it. That's how to set up your microphone and headset in Discord. I hope this video has been very helpful. And if it has, how about give me a thumbs up. Thumbs is always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribe is free. It's for you. It allows you not to release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.